Madison from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I'm here with one of the coffee community's favorite grinders. I'm talking about the Barazza Encore. Barazza Encore has conical burrs, and it's perfect for slow brew methods, and it's it's got stepped adjustments as well, which makes it really easy for to switch between different brew methods. So you could grind for a pot of drip coffee in the morning then in the afternoon easily just switch to something a little finer brew something like an aeropress so it's a really flexible grinder and that's one of the things that people really like about it um, so we do have a crew review for this grinder as well as uh, a series of some instructional videos on how on how to do things like clean it and so i recommend that you check out our youtube channel uh, to see those videos um, i would also recommend to head over to Barack website as well. Uh, their videos and documentation are great. So say you ever need to do anything that's a little bit more in-depth uh, home maintenance, something like recalibration, um, I'd head over to their website and check it out. Um, but today I've got a couple of tips uh, to hopefully make your experience using this essential tool even better. All right, so for tip number one, Say you're, you're going to go camping and you want to bring some coffee with you, um, but you don't have quite enough space to take a grinder with you, I would recommend using this on-off switch here. Um, you can grind through a really big batch of coffee just by switching this over to on, and it's going to grind until you switch it off. So you could flick it and just walk away. Um, I do have just about a whole uh, bag of beans here, so let's see how long it takes to grind through the whole thing. Let's do it. All right, and we're back. So that is that, that was about a, a 12 ounce bag of beans and it ground through all of them. I did have to empty that container about midway through, but let's check the watch. And it was two minutes and 38 seconds approximately to grind through uh, 12 ounces of beans. So again, that, I, I would, I'd use this. If you ever need to do a real big batch of beans, just flick it on and walk away. So that leads me to tip number two. And this is one thing that I do every day when I'm, when I'm using the, uh, the grinder, and that is to use the lid itself as my way tray. So I've got a scale here, and this is just perfect. The, uh, it's got that nice, uh, it's almost like a little, little it's a perfect size for you to, um, to weigh your beans for your dough. So I'd recommend using um, that tray for, to weigh your beans. So you can turn on your scale, tear it out, and away we go. And then, you can just flip them, in, flip them into your grinder and start, start, your, uh, start your grind. Now for tip number three, we've just dosed our, dosed our grinder. Now, I prefer to use the pulse button here uh, for smaller, uh, single dose. This is approximately 20 grams or so, uh, which is about what I use for my pour over. So I've single dosed using the lid, and we'll use this pulse button here just to grind through that, that small dose here. So here we go. Got some coffee in there already. And as you can see, it'll stop when you lift your finger off the pulse button, start when you press it. And that's what I think uh, makes it really good for, for single dosing. So that's, that's tip number three. All right, so for tip number four, let's talk about the burrs a little bit, a little bit more closely here. So over time, your burrs will start to dull just you know from being used, uh, doing that work, crushing that coffee. Um, and so that means that in order to, you know, get the best performance out of the grinder, you will need to replace the burrs every so often. Um, now what's worth mentioning is that it, it might be longer than, than, you, than you would expect. Uh, Baratza says that you should be able to, to grind through 500 to 1,000 pounds of coffee uh, before you need to replace these burrs. And um, if you grind about a pound of coffee a week, 
Um, that means you should hit that 500 pound mark in, in about nine years. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty long time. They're, they're good quality burrs. Um, but my tip would be to, when you get in here to, to clean this grinder, take a look at those burrs. See if you notice any shiny spots, any evidence of any nicks, um, because you, you might see those before that nine year mark. If you see a bunch of them, might not be a bad idea to replace the burrs, but um, yeah, that's um, make sure that you got good quality burrs. They might last longer than you think. All right, so we're, we're coming down to uh, my tip number five, and that is to fight something called static. Um, I'm sure most people are aware. Uh, sometimes grinders, you know, due to static electricity in the air, uh, roast level of the bean, um, you will get that kind of chaff or, you know, kind of coffee mess happening. And um, it's something that we all try to kind of eliminate. So what I'm gonna show you is just a little bit of water inside your beans is totally okay. And it should help to, uh, to reduce that static. Um, key is to not put too much in, obviously. They, they aren't designed to have a lot of water in it. So I'll show you just how much you should use. So, let's get a little bit of coffee into the grinder. Looks good for testing purposes. All right, so you can use just a couple of drops of water, two to three. Uh, some people also like to use like a small spray bottle or a spritzer, some, something like that, just give it a quick little spritz. I don't have a spritzer bottle here today, unfortunately. What I like to do is just use a spoon. Uh, just kind of get it just a little bit wet there. Just kind of just so there's a couple of drops happening. And then give it a quick little stir. Maybe one more for good luck here. And let's grind and see what we get. Gonna grind through all of it. Let's check it out and see uh, see where we're at so far. All right, you might notice sometimes with lighter roasted coffees, you pull out that grounds bin and you got chaff everywhere, uh, but it's not the case today. Uh, looks pretty clean, and you know this coffee's a little bit darker, so that also uh, plays plays a part in it. But um, yeah, if you if you have static problems, try the water trick. All right, and here we are ready for tip number six. And this is my last tip for today. Um, it's important to remember when you're adjusting your grinders finer to make sure that your burrs are spinning. Now this is a conical stepped grinder and it may be a little bit less important than say like a stepless flat burr set. Um, I do still think it's a really good habit though to be in and uh, to make sure that the burrs are spinning with coffee in them uh, whenever you're going finer. So you wanna not waste coffee that you, you know is fresh roasted or maybe you got from a specialty coffee shop or from Seattle Coffee Gear. You don't wanna waste your, your good quality beans when you're dialing in or, or uh, troubleshooting your grinder. I recommend having some stunt beans on hand. These beans could be ones that you got from say the grocery store, or maybe you acc accumulate it over time as kind of just um, extra beans, call them. Uh, but these are beans that you might not brew with, but you just have on hand to use when you're dialing in your grinder. And I think it's a, a good way to save your, your beans that you really like, and to just have some on hand. So we'll add a couple of beans here, and I will show you. If we want to go finer, you're turning towards these, these numbers here. Uh, towards the lower numbers. So you'll grind and then turn. Just like that. And now you can go from say grinding a uh, pot of drip down to say an AeroPress, but you didn't waste any of your good quality beans. So uh, try stunt beans maybe next time. And that is it my friends. That is all the tips and tricks I have about the Baratza Encore today. I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more like these. Um, thanks again.
Okay. Yes. Yeah.